In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to grant access on Namecheap. So the first thing that you would like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section, simply type name cheap.com and hit the enter button. That should take you into this page, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen of the application. Or sorry, of the Namecheap website. If you have an account, make sure to go and log in into it, but assign an option, you will find it right here. If you don't have an account, make sure to go and click at sign up option, you will find it at the right of it. Of course, you will have to do those both options manually because there is no fast way as Google sign in with or sign up with Google or something like that. Once you do one of these two options, you'll find yourself with a page like this, of course, on the dashboard of your account. And as you said, if you want to grant access, of course, please note that if you wish to use this option, the destination users need to create like a separate account with the Namecheap. And of course, once you signed in into your Namecheap account, make sure to go to your domain list here and you'll find every domain name that you have already bought into your account. Of course, you'll have to select the manage on the domain name that you would like to grant access into. Once you click as manage, you will find this page for yourself. Here, you would like to click at sharing and transfer tab on this top panel. As you can see here, we will have this share access. So simply, you'll have to enter the username or the email address of the other account that you want to grant access into. Of course, you can even change the ownership, which is granting access to become an ownership of the domain name. You can do the same by entering the username or the email of the other account that you want to grant access to. So once you finish, you can click at add or change and you will be asked to enter your password and you'll be good to go. So this will be actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.